Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, ever since Pixel Streaming was announced in Unreal Engine 5, I had this idea that I wanted to do. Now, right now, I'm 34 years old, married with two kids, and I gotta say, this is probably the highlight of my life. So what I'm trying to do is pretty much digitalize my family and pixel stream it so that one day when we're all gone, I know there is a place somewhere that we're all together, right? And that's the cool thing about pixel streaming is that it works on just a browser. You don't need to install anything. So even though I've had this idea for a while, I didn't have necessarily all the tools I needed until now. Because like I mentioned before, pixel streaming was so out of my reach a couple of years ago. But now with Arcane Mirage, I can finally test it at least, or at least host it privately and have it working. So here I am in Unreal Engine 5.2 right now. And you've seen this apartment before because I have live streamed on it multiple times on the channel. But in theory, what I want to do is here's a version of me. And I actually had my kids turn into 3D models as well. Now for them right now, since you can't make them sit still for a while, I just used the Relusion headshot version one. I took a picture of them using my phone and then I created a digital version of my kids because really I'm just doing this with zero budget whatsoever. If I had budget, I would probably have them get scanned properly, textures and all that stuff and turn into a meta human. So here is my son, Javen, and here's my daughter, Ada. And what's crazy about this is I took this picture of him on Friday and Saturday night, he tested positive for COVID. So I actually spent a couple of nights with him at the hospital and we just got back yesterday. Crazy coincidence, but that's beside the point. And for my wife, I couldn't find a picture of her not smiling. 99% of her pictures are, she's always smiling because she has like a beautiful smile. I don't, so I don't smile on all of her pictures. Let me look at this face. It's just like that. So eventually I'm gonna have my wife in here as well. But for now, it's just the three of us until I can get her made. So again, with all the technologies I'm playing around with here on the channel, one of them is Convey. What Convey is going to allow me to do is actually put AI in all of these characters. And let me show you how this works. So if I press play here, I already have it enabled. So here we are in my environment. I just press play. We're just playing in the editor right now. And here's my character. And by using Convey, again, different amazing technologies all putting together, I can talk to my character. Hey, what's up? Hey there. Not much. Just hanging out and ready to chat. How about you? Why did you create this place? I created this place to capture and preserve the special moments in my life with my family. I wanted us to be able to stay together. Even in the digital world so that our memories and experiences can be cherished forever. How many kids do you have? I have two wonderful children. Their names are Ida Lane and Javen Cade. They bring so much joy and happiness to our family. When is your wife's birthday? My wife, Desiree, was born on October 27th. 1990. We celebrate her birthday every year and make sure to make it a special day for her. So you can probably see where this is going. I'm pretty much going to put memories and events on the AI character so that whenever we get older or my kids get older, they can always come here and ask us questions, maybe even help them do homework, right? Because eventually when we, go old, when we get older, we're going to start forgetting stuff. By doing it this way, I have a time capsule, pretty much, of my family, and I can learn about them or relearn about them one day. And again, our time here is pretty short, but by having this pixel streamed online, I can have it potentially here forever. And, and really, that's the coolest thing about it. Now, and eventually what I'm going to try to do is obviously clone our voices for all of us so that we actually sound like ourselves with my kids. I bought a little microphone 
So I'm going to do some training for that. Additionally, I can probably implement an AI behavioral tree here. So they're not just sitting there and kind of like just on a loop because right now this is just Relusion Actor Core animation mocap that I'm using here. But eventually what I want to do is have like an AI behavior tree. So they're playing, they're sleeping, they're fighting, they're playing, they're talking to each other and so on and so forth. Now, unfortunately, Convey is not supported for Linux just yet, so I can't upload this to the Pixel Stream. But at the same time, let me go ahead and show you where this is going to be at in Arcane Mirage for now. All right, so here we are in the actual Pixel Streamed version of this. Okay, here you go. I have my controller, and you can use the keyboard as well. So here is the same exact apartment, just without the Convey because it's not supported for Linux yet. So this is running again on a browser so that means i can just send the link to my kid via email and whenever she gets old enough she can actually check this out right so here there i am and here are my two kids so eventually whenever convey gets updated i will be able to do the ai version here as well so i can talk to myself or talk to my kids but yeah this is what i'm going to be working on obviously with with money and budget i'm going to probably upgrade our apartment it looks <laughs> looks kind of bad right now but this is all i got even in the digital world we're broke but you know it's cool it's a good start um but yeah eventually i'm gonna have a better apartment i'm gonna have the ai voices and i'm gonna have an ai behavior tree so that they can actually you know walk around and do stuff and and when you're watching this what i'm hoping for is you know you can get generate some ideas on what you can use this for because this is just a small tiny example of what you can do with all of these technologies because i mean one of them is like if you're a famous person or somebody historically famous and you want to learn about them instead of having like a museum you can have a pixel streamed url website where you can come in and talk to them and ask them questions and you know, it's just a different way to teach and learning, doing research about somebody. I can just ask, hey, hey, when did you create X, Y, and Z? So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to share with y'all what I'm working on right now. Uh, right now, the working title is Jace Films Time Capsule. Because, again, uh, I want people to be able to go in here one day and eventually maybe even make robot versions of us whenever whenever that technology comes available. So we'll have a robot version, AI robot version of, the, of us uh, out there physically. That would be super cool in a museum or something. Well, that's all I got for y'all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.